Welcome to the second day. In my Golu at home, I will take you through a conductor tour of another section of my collection. You will see brass dolls over here. Day 2 is Brahmacharini or another version of Parvati Durga. On this version of Brahmacharini is the story about the legendary Parvati praying to marry Lord Shiva. It is believed that Shiva and Parvati were required to parent a child and have him as the person who can kill Tarakasura. However, bringing in karma to build erotic desire in Shiva fails and so Parvati decides on penance and worship. She decides to become an ascetic, goes to the Himalayas in the roop of a Brahmacharini. Her pursuits draw the attention of Lord Shiva. He meets her in the disguised form, tries to discourage her. She refuses to listen in her resolve. It is during this time that the demon Parakasura attacks Parvati with a million asuras. She in her last stages completes her tapas. You just yellow metal and you have seen Ganeshas of smaller stature. You also noticed a few other metal dolls. As you come down, you watch some of my collection of uh, dolls and toys in silver. We are now in the ice clad mountains of Kailasha, the abode of Shiva Parvati, who are in attendance are Vishnu, Lakshmi, Saraswati, Brahma and Nandi you can see. Also perhaps an indication of how nature friendly our whole history, our traditions are, various form, animal forms are worshipped. You see Naga, you see Narada. You see various forms of various gods and goddesses in their original forms of various depicting various animals. The Maharishis, the Munis are all in Kailash. The next segment of my collections or our collections is a tribute to Lord Subramanya. He is sitting on a hill, Subramanya Swami is always sitting on hills and you have the Kavadi atom going on where people balance the peacock feather structure and uh, various people are in procession welcoming Lord Subramanya, a very popular image that people have of uh, Parani and other uh, temple towns associated with Subramanya Swami. I hope many of you are enjoying this and those of you who are in Hyderabad and feel that you are liking what you are seeing, I am only showing you just parts of it per day. You are free to walk into my house and watch the entire collection 
on a single day at one go. This is Amman procession. Amman is the goddess. You may call her Lakshmi, you may call her Parvati, you may call her Saraswati. Here is a procession of the goddess. You will see devotees waiting, prostrating before her. And uh, the elephant leads the procession. You have the Nadaswaram being played in front of the procession and uh, people all waiting in line to get a darshan of the goddess in a procession. I will sign off on day two with this note that you have seen two facets of the Navaratri from my Bomalokulu. Before I sign off, I should be thanking many people for helping me in arranging all this. My tick off list will start off with Ritika, my wife, Abhinav, my son. Datu for his multiple roles. I am going to talk about him in another role tomorrow or day after. But right now, for ensuring that these reach out to you in picture form, Ayub, Venkatesh, and Shanavas for being the team that helped me in putting up all this. And adding a lot of green to all this is our ever enthusiastic gardener, Yadgiri. <laughs>